I don't know who needed to hear this, but I got to tell you. You must be some kind of amazing if you think about all the things that have come up against you and you're still here. All the things that tried to stop you from getting to where you are now, to stop you from trying to have confidence and self-esteem, and yet you may. Question, who are you? Or at least, who could you be? Answer, part of the eternal force that constantly confronts the terrible unknown, voluntarily, and part of the eternal force that faces chaos and turns it into productive order, and all of this being very difficult to understand consciously but vital to our survival is transmitted in the form of the stories that we cannot help but attend to and it is in this manner that we come to apprehend what is of value what we should aim at and what we could be when you're stretching out when you're taking life by the collar you're going to get thrown to the ground again and again and again but when you have determination and you know that what you're doing is right. It gives you your life. It gives a special meaning and power to you. You will discover some things about yourself that will begin to electrify your personality. You'll begin to discover some things about you that you don't know you've got. One of the greatest steps towards success is self-confidence. And the greatest builder of self-confidence is self-esteem doing the things you know you should do so that at the end of the day you have this great satisfaction. The old prophet said, the sleep of a laboring man is sweet. Not the sleep of a goof-off man. Not the sleep of a joker, no. The sleep of one who labors, that's the sleep that's sweet. Don't allow anybody to make you feel that you are nobody. Always feel that you count. Always feel that you have worth. And always feel that your life has ultimate significance. In order to have what you want in life, you must Stop staring at the top of that mountain. You must stop creating excuses for why you can't or don't feel like it. And you must put your head down and look at the first step in front of you. And then you must take the action and start walking toward what you want. I don't believe everybody can be the biggest and the fastest and the strongest and the smartest. But I believe you are number one when you get up in the morning and say, today, I'm going to give it my best shot. I believe you're number one when at the end of the day you can honestly look in that mirror and say today I gave it my best shot. Winning is in all of us. We all want to win. But the path people take to get to winning, everybody wants the end result and they want to feel the sugar and the, 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 the confetti and all that other stuff. But what you have to endure to win, no one wants to talk about. The reasons have power. Your reasons will drive you. When you have doubt, when your faith becomes weak, your reasons will fortify your faith. When you have an inner conversation, say, no, don't do that. Your reasons will become your rod and your staff to comfort you, to take you.
shit is how you respect yourself. How you look at yourself, that's in every fucking journey. Those are the biggest words of all time as far as respecting yourself. So don't look at this dread and punishment. Look at those words as a lifestyle. Stay hard.